Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial where I'll guide you through the process of installing and activating the newly released MPC Stems for MPC2 desktop software. Now to begin, you'll need to purchase the MPC Stems from akipro.com forward slash stems by clicking on the buy now button. This will then redirect you to complete your order. Now when providing your details, make sure that you use the InMusic Akai profile email address that you use to log into your MPC. This will then link the stems activation directly to your Akai MPC account. After completing your purchase, it's essential to update your MPC software and firmware to the latest 2.14 version, which includes support for MPC stems. Now this can be downloaded by using the address listed below. Now you can also update your MPC software and hardware by using the wireless updater by clicking on check for updates. Now to install MPC stems, launch the desktop MPC software, then go to settings, and then to activations, making sure that you've logged into your Akai profile account. Here you will see MPC stems. Now click on activate and then download the stems algorithm that will complete the installation process. Now that we've finished installing stems, we can use our MPC in controller mode to control stems. Let's press menu, then the MPC icon, press control mode, and now your MPC will reboot into controller mode giving you full control of the MPC software. Now all of our current MPC line from the Live 1 through to the Key 37 supports controller mode and MPC stems. Now to access stems, simply record or load a sample, press sample edit, and now you'll see the new MPC stems tab at the top of the screen. As soon as you press this, you now have access to MPC stems. Now to learn more about MPC stems, visit akaipro.com forward slash stems to explore this exciting brand new feature. Thanks for watching.